On a cold Dallas night. We're gonna cross over. Watch your step. Flashlights cut through the dark. So not to split up too much. It's enlightening. I bet you somebody sleeps there. In this part of town, people don't walk alone at night. I see y'all got y'all escort. Those flashlights are here to take a census and find out what counts. Hello, someone here? Dallas's bright, bold skyline is a postcard for having it all. Okay, all right, sir. Thank you. The Metro Dallas Homeless Alliance is looking for the have-nots. Good evening, anybody here? We followed volunteers with a point-in-time homeless right camp. So could we go continue down the street? Yeah, it's uh, To the next spot? Yes. Their mission? We get information on why they're out here, how long they've been out here. And where they call home. Is this somebody's home and I don't want to tramp all on their uh, living room here? Everyone counts. Submitted our first entry. Behind every number. Here we go. He's a face. How you doing, sir? A name. Al, nice to meet you, Al. And a story. Yeah, the cans are there, you know, you just have to get them. What they say, another man's trash is another man's treasure, you know, so. A metaphor for these streets. Just stop and look. Where do you sleep, sir? You know, uh, down here behind Shamrock in the tent. There are people. Here in Dallas, one of the richest communities in the world. Living like discarded trash. I've never been out in the middle of the night at a fire pit at a home, homeless encampment. It's just heartbreaking. Now I'm just going to hit submit. It counts. Number two submitted. Yeah, right. We can just stay on the street and just walk up there. Last year's homeless count showed a 20% increase of people living on the street. I think we got to talk about it. It's a real life thing and it's not something that's in another world. It's down our streets. It's, you know, it's on your corner. On this corner. I ain't going to say it's dangerous, man. It's, it's depending on how you carry yourself. In this parking lot. What, what kind of services would be beneficial for y'all? I mean, obviously I getting a lodging. I just want an apartment. I'm, I miss watching the TV laying in back. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Doyle has been living out of his car for six months. They are not different from us. They are our mothers, fathers, uncles, brothers. Right here, have you seen any? We only have this area left. Or we can just check out um, right up here at. Okay, to the bridge. Yeah. The homeless count. Oh my God. Is eye opening. It's good to stop sometimes and just talk to people about where they are and where they're going. Are you gonna be staying out here tonight? Or no, you got I'm some just sitting out for a while. Oh, okay. Nah. Foley is 56. I would have thought any uh, older than about 42. Yeah. Man, <laughs> what's the secret? What's the secret? <laughs> It's about the conversation and getting to know people. They aren't just being counted. Thank you. It's showing the homeless they count. Most of these people don't want handouts. They just want a hand up. Noel Walker. Yeah, he said something behind this building. NBC5.